What's up everybody? Hello, hello. Do you ever feel like you just don't know what to do? You just are at your wit's end a little bit, not knowing how to proceed. So you just don't proceed. You kind of stick around, you stay stuck. You just kind of fester. It's like just uh, see your sail luffing in the wind. I'm a little sailor, so I like that analogy. Well, I'm here to tell you that a lot of us can get stuck like that. I got stuck like that today, and I want to share what one thing can be to help you <clears throat> through this. And may or may not be what you think. I'm curious what you think. But if you're here, let me know you're watching. Say hi. Hello, hello. My sense is, and I've done this time and time again, and I really find it helpful, is to surrender. To actually hand your problem, hand your dilemma, the thing that you're grappling with over to the universe, divine God. And like literally ask for help, ask for support from your spirit guides, from the universe, whatever you want to call it, from angels, from whatever you, whatever, whatever feels good for you, something bigger, greater than your human body self, because our body is just our vessel. Our body is our instrument. It doesn't mean that is the end of us, right? We have this higher, uh, I use higher as a, a flux word there, but as a stronger, bigger sense of just you being a human in a, in a body, in a bag of bones, as, as Alan Watts would say. Uh, skin in a bag of bones. We have this hot, we have this sense of self that's beyond ourselves, right? That's our soul. That's our spirit. And when we connect to the outer realm that allows us to touch base with that realm too, we can call in support and surrender. And I gotta say, it works. But you gotta believe it. Like you have to be vested in what you're talking about and what you're sharing. My example that made me think of this today and wanted to share with you is I'm going through a personal, uh, <laughs> what do I call this, a, per a personal conflict, I guess. It's, it's a little bit of an issue. It's a, it's a very interesting exercise of, of um, how, do I, how do I stay in the abundance mindset when it comes to finances? My money, where I'm waiting for it to be returned to me, so it's, it's the amount of money that I loaned out and it hasn't come back to me when I thought it would be coming back to me. And so I'm trusting the universe, but now because it's escalating, it's been over, it's been over way past since it was due back to me. I, uh, I'm asking for support. I'm also going to take legal action potentially. <sighs> and so I'm just done worrying about it. I want to surrender this. And I, so I called in, I woke up last night, like wide awake thinking about it. <laughs> for a couple hours and so I don't want to I don't want that to be my life right so whatever it is that's grappling with you that you're that you're stuck on it might not be the same thing it doesn't have to be at all maybe it's kids going back to school right maybe it's it's the work world where you just feel so constrained with what you're doing right now or or not sure of how to show up anymore or being pulled in 20 directions and not clear on what path feels good for you all of these can be, uh, can have remedies and solutions, but I think it never hurts. And I think it's very in support of you to know that you're not alone and that you can get support on what you want. So having yourself call in, call in, what, call in your spirit guides, call in the angels, whatever works for you. It could be the universe, Gaia, Mother Earth, nature. The idea is that you're not alone and and this can actually really support your nervous system to feel okay. What I would recommend is to actually be very clear and direct and, and call and say, all right, you could use this as a prayer. So dear spirit, dear guides, dear universe, dear God, Jesus, whatever you want to call it, whatever you, whatever you call in, I'm, I'm so grateful for you to be here. And I also need help. And I ask for support right now. I ask for your support in this matter of XYZ and I surrender this to you and I'm handing this all over full on to you to handle and I therefore no longer need to worry about this myself I know it's in your hands and I'm so grateful and I will do what I need to do for action needed but allow myself to 
step back from what this is and I'm so grateful to be in support and send me that support as I need it now. I pray for the highest good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Much love. So something like that can be really good and then and then truly like feel that in your heart. It's not just words, but it's your heart. When I did this over 10 years ago in a situation where my relationship wasn't working out, I woke up the next day and I was also doing a lot of my own work. This is when I was, I was right after my, my first three month pause, uh, going through a bunch of ter tremendous personal growth. And I did that and I surrendered the relationship. I woke up the next morning and life was never the same. I had a lot of personal epiphanies and I knew there was bigger, bigger, greater sources of, of energy and self higher, bigger, way more than just my own personal body. And I, I knew I wasn't alone in the universe and I could see the colors and the trees and the, and God and, and, and hear everything talking to me. And so that's the power this stuff has. If you really truly believe in knowing there is more than you, because you're not alone. I know you're not alone, and I want you to know you're not alone. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this tip, and if you want support in this, if you feel like maybe this is something you you resonate with, but you're like not really sure what to do next, or you need support and want want to help, I'm here for you because this is to me no no nothing to leave behind. Don't leave this on the table when there's so much available for you. Okay, so just message me, comment below. Uh, give me a heart if this resonates with you, but comment and direct message me just to know that uh, that you need support. So just write back and put the message in support and I'll reach out with next steps because no one can do this alone. And it's, it's scary sometimes if you don't really know what the answer is on the other side. That's why the beauty of the pause is there to know that nothing nothing is shit, nothing, nothing is able to be known in the unknown <laughs> right an intentional shift in behavior means there's some white space there that you don't have an answer so when you surrender you don't have an answer you don't know what's going to happen that's the whole point and it is hard oh my gosh it is so hard and i think of tosha silver and her money books uh who kind of kind of outline this and, and change me prayers where it says if i'm not able if i'm not the kind of person who is able to surrender then then change me God universe into someone who can surrender, who is able to surrender. And thank you for that. All right. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Let me know what you think about this. It's a little bit of a different flavor today. I feel pretty vulnerable sharing my awakening story to you, but I also, I also know, I also know in like the most essential ways in my own being and heart and mind and body to know that uh, you can have that power to surrender because it will serve you. It will so serve you to become who you couldn't imagine you become to transform. And I'm here to help you with that. So, bye, everybody.